Now, we've also seen this pricing on demand with facial recognition technologies in England, where you go into a supermarket and based on, well, they facially scan you, you already have a profile of what your credit score is, what your wealth um, you know, level is, and your preferences on purchasing. And like Ransom had mentioned, uh, the price tag changes for the different people as they walk around the store. Now, apparently, if there's two people in proximity, it stays the same. But if you're an individual person and it's kind of off hours, the price tags change. They're digital price tags. So the digital price tag will change and it will mark that whatever reader and all these little tags that they have on the boxes now, it will change the price in real time to lock that box in on a different price than if Ransom and I went in and we both bought the same item, we would get two different prices. So this is what's happening across the world right now with this AI and Delta Airlines is doing the exact same thing here with it. So they're forecasting for specific routes, special flights, demand, and it's just, they're using, cup. and this is the whole thing right here, this paragraph where it says, senators, at least in the US, are finally coming around and going, all right, well, they can't be doing this. They're buying your personal information from your, the, the, the internet company you have a subscription with anyway that you're paying monthly should not be selling your information off to Delta Airlines so they can give you a higher ticket price. But they are. This is the collusion that's happening right now between everything in life that we need just to operate is being sold and you're the commodity. You're being commoditized and you're being milked of your wealth. This is a wealth transfer program all run by AI and everybody's complicit in it, which is sickening to say the least. And we're on a family-friendly program, YouTube, so I'm going to refrain from using certain words. But you can see that they're, they're charging different seat fares. Now, I understand that anyway that you had different seat pricing for different parts of the cabin and economy and super economy and deluxe seating and all that other garbage they rolled out in the last you know, few years. But this takes it to a completely different level. So let's say one of your parents dies, you need to need an emergency flight home where they're going to gouge you because they know you have to get home. That They're not going to break you on the price. They're going to gouge you on the price, knowing that it's a last minute emergency flight and you will pay anything so they can charge you 30%, 40% more and you'll pay it because you didn't check with any other airlines. You always use Delta. You know, So this is where the world is going to, which is downright scary. And uh, Ransom, I know I hogged the first like 10 minutes of the second hour or so. No, that's all right. You, you know, you I know, was just. Yeah, but you see, you talked about this so many times before. And now it's really in play now. Well, all the signs were there, you know, like when you started going to the Internet and they wanted your uh, zip code. They wanted your zip code so they could tell you what was in stock in your area, supposedly. But that's not really what it was. Uh, they wanted to know where you live so they could base pricing based on where you live. How Home many Depot. people are buying it? Yeah, all of that stuff. Um, and not only that, think about, uh, you know, a, I, don't, I don't know how many years back it was. It had to have been at least 10 when everybody found out that these companies like Target, Walmart, Home Depot, you could just go down the name. Uh, they were pinging off your phone uh, to see how long you spent in the store and which stores you went to and who you were. So they were connecting that data already to your identity on your shopping habits. So now it's like, you know, a hundred fold that where they know how everything, where you go, when you go actually in person to go buy stuff, they know about how many times you're going to use that disposable income. So they're going to start basing the price based on how much disposable income they think you have. In other words, if you have more money, things will cost more uh, unless you just buy like a lot, you know, like that'll, that'll be where it comes in to where you get these little, um, kind of like a shopper's club based on your, on your credit score. So if you're the right person with the right situation and the right credit limit, then everything will be cheap for you. But everybody else, it'll be based on, you know, your circumstance, where you live, uh, how much you actually need it. And, and think about, you know, that, that kind of sounded like what you were saying there about the flight home to the death, that it would be like, uh, oh my God, my country just turned communist and I want to fly out. And the airline's like, well, how much gold bars do you have? <laughs> or maybe we may or may not, you know, fly you out depending on what you have. 
uh, based on all this metadata that we've acquired. Um, and then it's funny to think that some people actually think they live secret lives. They don't. There's just so much metadata tied to everything. You know, uh, information from credit card readers to license plate readers to, you know, traffic camps. All of that's intertwined. All of it. And it's all going somewhere, you know, into something. And I, I, I think that the reason that they kept so much information is they want to keep track of exactly who is going to be able to fit into the next system. In other words, people that uh, can afford to fit in it or not. And things are going to start being segregated like private clubs, you know, like if you wanted to go party at a private club, but it's not going to be a private club for partying and drinking. It's going to be whether or not you get discounts on uh, home repair stuff or food or whatever that is. It's all going to be based on this digital ID uh, that's being formed so that you can have a copy of yourself literally represented in the metaverse. The metaverse isn't for you to just go shopping and have a good time. It's there to literally keep you enslaved and make sure that um, all the information is filtered, uh, you know, just for you. Uh, all the products are priced right just for you. Like, say you went to Amazon and you were trying to buy parts to fix up something. If they know that you actually have that broken, they can now limit the search results to the ones that they want you to buy. Uh, that's the same thing that I was talking about, about Google. Google now has an AI that not only decides for you what factoids are what, kind of like Wikipedia, where someone programmed it. It's not actual, it's not actual real information, just sometimes it is, and sometimes it's got a bias on it. Google does the same thing. But not only that, Google also sends you to the preferred uh, companies to buy your products from. So they can control all of that. And I think what that's all coming down to is because we're having some real problems, not to mention what I'm calling the great die off or the population plateau, which we knew was coming for a long time. I mentioned that like years and years ago, because it had already been figured out by a, a, a lot of smart people that the exponential climb of the uh, population would all of a sudden stop, it would plateau, and then it would start to reverse. And that's exactly where we're at. That's the point in time we're at right now. And uh, that's why I brought up that Chinese uh, thing. And and in the meantime, they're keeping you distracted with who shot Nelly in the belly with the meatball, what celebrity figure died, um, telling you that, um, you know, the, the man-made problems of the warming basketball is because of you. And then they're basic. This is what's going to happen soon is the AI will decide how much the natural gas cost that goes to your house based on the temperature outlook <laughs> of the upcoming year based on their AI models of what they say. This is not a toothpaste. It's a revolution for your teeth. Remineralize, strengthen teeth, all natural ingredients, essential oils, minerals, salts, Alpha Vedic Dental Solutions System. That's alphavedic.com forward slash civilization. And not a lot of people are talking about this. We always see the storable foods. But what about dental care during these same emergency situations? So take a look at what they have, alphavedic.com forward slash civilization. So they're, they're telling you that the world is burning up at the same time as you can clearly see that we're having actually a lot cooler times, but they don't want to tell you that. This is all cooler than normal. Most, And if you remember... Um, Dubine was talking about these cool blotches coming down and then hot blotches coming down from the poles or going up or going down, depending on which pole you're on. Uh, that's kind of what this is. This came in here. We're on a totally different system. This is going to be cooler than normal. This is the same area that was crying about excessive heat last year. This is all the same areas. And then you have all these storms. Of course, they're going to be deadly with more electricity and more tornadoes because now you have this cool air meeting the hot air uh, late into the year. So who knows what hurricane season is going to be like. Now, wait, but, Ransom, please hold on that. That, that map, you understand, is a 30-year average baseline, the deviation nope. from that. So what yeah. we have is 30 years of temperature record to look at. Usually, uh, you know, subtract, you know, go back 30 years. So it'll be like uh, 1990 to 2020 or something like that. Yeah. And it'll be 30 years of temperatures. And then this is the chart you're looking at. So of those total 30 years... This is the average that's different. And you look at that and it is degrees Celsius. So it's not even a Fahrenheit chart. It's a degree Celsius chart, which is far more because it's 2.2 degree, degrees Fahrenheit for every degree Celsius. 
So when you're looking at four to six degrees Celsius below the normal, that's like about 10 degrees Fahrenheit or so difference. Right. Like you can find the Fahrenheit chart, but just understand that. So we get 30, the last 30 years, they've been talking about hothouse, broiling, everything. So you got that 30 years of data, and this is the chart that's showing, whoa, we just blew way past that on the cooling side so deeply that, you know, you don't need to run your AC. You know, I forgot to open it, but I saw a post um, kind of from the other set of thinking on these topics where they were saying that, look, the globe, it's so hot, it's producing much more moisture. And I could tell that, you know, we have actually been talking about that for years since Tunga, that a bunch of a bunch of extra, um, at least extra for the uh, for the weather pattern, moisture was all up in the air, all over the place, worldwide. It went into both hemispheres, a lot more water. Um, but to them, they hear the propaganda and they think, look, all of these floodings and the storms and everything, it's because global warming. That's why. Um, they've been telling us for years that it would cause that. And really, you know, it's, I think it's more about this, um, this right here, this is where it all comes together. Um, they don't want you to eat meat because a, that's what we've always eaten, right? Not beef per se, but meat. We've always eaten meat and we've ate bovine into the Pleistocene. We've been eating meat for a really long time. They give it credit for us getting bigger brains, which led to, you know, hunter-gatherer societies, which led to eventually domestication of animals, farming, and civilization. It's the backbone was meat first. Um, we've always known that. And now they're trying to replace this meat with something that they grow uh, to try to convince you that, you know, less people is better. If less people were here, we wouldn't have to have these big ranches growing all these meats and the cows wouldn't fart and all of this stuff. Um, and they're trying to push you into this digital system where, where you're basically only going to get uh, ration cards, a digital soup kitchen type thing. And it doesn't matter whether or not you're using money or digital assistance given to you by the government. It amounts to the same thing. Um, it's based on how much worth a dollar is right now, but that'll, that'll change later. Um, but this is what you're really seeing is the destruction of civilization through reduced amounts of food. You see it on every angle. We need more war. We need old people are dying. Everyone's infertile. Let's go ahead and reduce the amount of food that they could possibly get to stay, um, you know, like we always have in the past, you needed meat to be healthy, strong people. So if there's a reduced meat and they've been given a lot of excuses, there's screw worms, there's viruses, there's fungus, there's the fires, there's climate change, there's everything of why there's less beef. But we remember the last couple of years where millions and millions of animals were killed off. Thus, the overall population would be less because there was less to populate and less to work with. And now we're seeing uh, everything the opposite world where it's to the point where you're just going to have to pay a subscription to be a citizen of a smart city, or you won't even be able to exist. Um, here meets up eggs up electricity's up. Um, they're talking about real cuts. You, you know, I, I know that there's arguments on whether or not they are, aren't cutting um, social security, but it makes sense that the more and more you go into debt, eventually you're going to have to cut some programs. And if you have a dying population of, let's face it, elderly boomers that are going out, um, then you also would go ahead and be cutting those benefits that go to the people that were promised of a different era uh, because young people really don't fit into the Social Security equation. Um, so, of course, they'd be cutting that, but that that's less stuff. More than 40% of Americans see decline in real pay, and they talk about pay rates versus inflation. It's not happening. You're not getting paid the same amount as somebody else in a better economy in a different decade uh, where the money was worth a little more um, because they're going ahead and transitioning into the dollarless society where the paper money is going to be gone. And, you know, there's a whole thing about super, con uh, super realistic counterfeit money everywhere. I've been seeing the local headlines. So, um, if you read national headlines, you only get one set of propaganda. But if you start going around to the local states and then reading their crime, you actually get to see what's what the pattern is. And there, there's all this counterfeit money out there, which is another excuse on top of the pandemic related reasons that they want to get rid of it. It's all different excuses for you to live smaller, live less with less. 
uh, and then introducing, you know, these stable coin ideas. They're talking about it's going to trigger crisis in the heart of the financial industry. Uh, everybody's scared of their control on what you buy and how you buy it. Uh, but but wait, they're going to strip the entire wealth, what you just talked about. So let's say right. your family had money to pass down to you or your grandparents had money to pass down to you or parents did. At the time of their parting, everything's going to be digitized and they're either going to tax you at 50 percent, 80 percent, or they're just not going to let that wealth transfer down. Like no. there's certain areas of history where it just stops and everything resets back to zero again and you just start from scratch. I believe we're at that point now. And, you know, a lot of data, a lot of you know historical correlations between this time and previous times. Please remember CivilizationCycle.com and also buy me a coffee forward slash CivilizationCycle.com. 